Well, um, my wife and I have lived here in Hayesville since 2008, but I've been with the school district since 1997. So a little over 24 years we've been here in Hayesville, uh, a member of this community and really have enjoyed it. Uh, we've uh, raised one child here who's a proud graduate of uh, Campus High School and is currently a, a sophomore at Kansas State University studying uh, chemical engineering. I grew up in Wyoming and uh, uh, started out as a fireman and finally made my way into the world of education and then my wife came home one day and said, we're moving to Kansas. And so I uh, got out a map, figured out where we were going to be and started applying and uh, went through interviews, uh, had interviews in multiple districts, but uh, ended up with Hayesville and loved it, made that choice. Uh, this community has just been great to us. Um, side note, I am an avid collector of old toys and if you are interested in old toys, you can come talk with me all you want. Uh, Kansas, by the way, has some of the greatest toy conventions. Some by Kansas City, Minneapolis, Kansas, even out in Hayes, Kansas. So uh, if you're ever interested in talking about old toys, that's also one of my hobbies. Well, I think education drew me in. I used to be a fireman. I was a fireman for six years and I had an opportunity as a fireman to become a department trainer. Um, chief Harris was my, uh, ch uh, the chief of the fire department at the time. He's the one that convinced me to do some training and develop lessons and uh, at that opportunity I knew education was for me. Uh, the idea of being able to develop a lesson, ensure that your students really got the information and, and, and in the fire department that often was life and death situations but that just really carried over to the public education. So, studied hard, got my substitute license, and for about five years, I worked as a substitute teacher on my days off when I was a fireman, and then when we moved to Kansas, um, I knew I wanted to be a, a school teacher, and so I simply applied for, for teaching positions. Um, and it's, it's been a great fit. It is truly a calling. Um, I still teach today at Newman University for those interested in becoming superintendents. I probably can sum up the, the school district of the city really with the same characteristic, it's the people. Um, you know, it was the people that, that, that I made connections with during the interview process that made me choose Hayesville, and I did have choices at that time. I was offered positions in, in um, Derby and Mays and still had an interview scheduled for, for uh, uh, Goddard when I, when I was offered this, but it really was, it was those individuals that I had the opportunity to interact with and develop that relationship with, and it made the greatest difference. Uh, moving here, teaching here, living in this community, um, we have some of the best people ever. This is just a great community to be in, um, and I want to continue that. I really want to continue to stay here, um, be a part of that, and contribute to this community. Oh, one of the best things at Hayesville, uh, we're elite. I'm telling you now, people don't realize that, but we offer some of the highest quality education you can attain anywhere in the state. Uh, between our IB program, even our AVID program, we have got some of the best offerings when it comes to public education around. Uh, if you want opportunities, we're gonna provide them for you. The other thing that's really surprised me, and this has a lot to do with what's happened recently in the pandemic, is just how quickly and how supportive the people in this community are when it comes to a crisis situation. You know, we've had some other crises this year, not directly related to the pandemic. And the community, the staff, and the students have all stepped up and come, come really, they've just become outstanding, just absolutely outstanding. And that, that, that to me is, is one of the best parts about being in Hayesville. One of the things I'd like the community to know is I, I love being a partner with them. Um, I, I think the role of the superintendent is not just a, a, a leader and you're going to do it this way. The role of the superintendent is someone who can build relations and collaboration uh, when it comes to specific projects. If you look at my history, I've been able to do that in multiple projects of being here, and often history is a good indicator of, of future performance. But not just that, not just that. I truly have a passion for improving the education for our students. And I, I take that to heart. I took that to heart in every position I've worked in this district, from, from the energy manager, because if we could save more money, we could have more money for the classrooms, to, to transportation director, and could we make that experience more beneficial, shorter for students, and, and improve the environment, uh, even to the, where the, the point as assistant superintendent, I look for, and still look for, 
great opportunities to conserve money, save where we can, keep taxes down for the local community, so that, again, we can make changes that really benefit the students at Haynesville. So, what I'd like the community to know, I'd love the opportunity to continue that process. Um, I think as uh, the superintendent of schools, I've got some great skills that really will uh, work well with this community, uh, and, and I'd, I'd like to stay here with them.